ever wondered about the unexplained phenomena that baffle even the brightest minds, get ready as we're about to delve into three of history's most perplexing mysteries that have puzzled scientists and inspired conspiracy theorists. So, fasten your seatbelts, it's time to delve into the first mystery. Picture this, a small town in New Mexico, where some residents hear a persistent low-frequency hum. Welcome to Taos, home to a puzzling auditory phenomenon that has puzzled scientists and locals alike for decades. This is not your average small-town mystery. This is the story of the hum of Taos. Taos, a quaint town nestled in the high desert of New Mexico, is known for its vibrant art scene and Pueblo-style architecture. But for a select few, it's also the epicentre of an eerie droning sound that permeates the air day and night. This low-frequency hum, often compared to the distant idling of a diesel engine, is heard by a small percentage of the population, yet its source remains elusive. The hum has been described as more felt than heard, a pervasive vibration that seeps into the consciousness of those who perceive it. It's a phenomenon that has driven some to distraction, even despair. Yet, for others, it's a mystery to be solved. Over the years, many theories have been proposed, each more intriguing than the last. Some speculate that the hum may be the result of unusual geological activity, perhaps linked to the town's location in the Rio Grande Rift Valley. Others suggest it's the byproduct of secret government experiments or the result of low-frequency radio waves bouncing off the ionosphere. Some even propose that the hum is a symptom of tinnitus, a common auditory disorder. Yet none of these theories has been proven. Despite extensive scientific investigations, the hum remains a sonic enigma. It's a mystery that continues to resonate quite literally with the residents of Taos and with those who seek to understand the unexplained. It's a riddle wrapped in a low-frequency hum, nestled in the high desert of New Mexico. So what is causing the hum of Taos? No one knows for sure. This persistent auditory phenomenon remains one of the world's most perplexing mysteries. A hum that continues to echo in the ears of those who hear it and in the minds of those who seek to understand it. Before we proceed to the next mysterious fact, listen to this peculiar humming. Next, we travel back in time to Strasbourg in the summer of 1518, where a dancing fever took hold of the city. In the summer of 1518, a bizarre event swept through the city of Strasbourg. A woman began dancing uncontrollably in the streets and soon hundreds of others joined her. For days, even weeks, they danced without rest, some collapsing from exhaustion or even dying. Was this a case of mass hysteria, a strange disease or something even more inexplicable? The Dancing Plague of 1518 remains one of history's most chilling and baffling mysteries. Reality can be stranger than fiction, and the world we think we understand can still surprise us with its mysteries. The Dancing Plague of 1518, a mystery that continues to perplex historians. If you're enjoying these facts, please like and subscribe to the channel. Your support motivates us to keep bringing you awesome content. Finally, we dive into the depths of the ocean to explore the legendary lost city of Atlantis. A tale as old as time, the story of Atlantis was first spun by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. He spoke of a technologically advanced civilization that existed 9,000 years before his own time, a society that was morally and intellectually superior to any other. But in a single day and night, Atlantis was said to have disappeared, swallowed by the sea in a cataclysmic event. This tale has sparked the imaginations of explorers and historians for centuries, each trying to uncover the truth. Was Atlantis real or just a figment of Plato's philosophical musings? If it did exist, where was it located? And what caused its sudden disappearance? The search for Atlantis has led many to the far corners of the Earth. Some theories suggest it was located in the Mediterranean, others propose it was in the Caribbean or even Antarctica. One of the most tantalizing clues is the Eye of the Sahara, a geographical anomaly in the deserts of Mauritania. 
This circular structure bears a striking resemblance to Plato's descriptions of Atlantis, leading some to believe it could be the remains of the lost city. But the question remains, was Atlantis a real place or simply a myth? Some scholars believe Plato invented Atlantis as an allegory for his philosophical ideas. Others argue that the tale is too detailed, too specific to be purely fictional. They suggest that Atlantis was a real place, a civilization lost to time and the relentless march of the sea. Despite the countless theories and extensive searches, definitive evidence of Atlantis's existence has yet to be found. Yet, the allure of the lost city persists. It's a mystery that has endured for over two millennia, a testament to the power of storytelling and the human desire to explore the unknown. The lost city of Atlantis, a mystery that continues to captivate us. The world is full of mysteries, from the persistent hum of towers to the dancing plague of 1518 to the lost city of Atlantis. These enigmas continue to stir our curiosity and spark our imagination. Which mystery intrigues you the most? Share your thoughts below.